Hey, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to splice repair a transducer wire for your uh, fish finder, okay? This one uh, is a method I'm doing for a hummingbird fish finder, but I'm pretty sure this method would work for pretty much any fish finder, okay? So, yeah, I bought this boat, used boat, and I took it out to the lake and uh, was trying to use the fish finder for several hours and kept marking a bunch of fish, but lo and behold, I found out eventually that the wire was cut in half so what i actually was seeing was not real fish but the demo mode that like they they have in the store which just kind of shows you fake images all right so it was kind of several hours of frustration trying to catch fish that weren't really there anyways i'm going to show you how to repair this baby so that um you don't have to end up buying a new one of these just by the way this one right here cost 120 dollars for a new one of these transducers with wire and there's no uh, way to take it apart here so uh, this is going to save a lot of money if you don't want to spend that extra money there. Okay, so let me go ahead and just jump right into what you're going to need to do this. Now, step one is you're going to need to put some heat shrink tape on the wires before you do anything else. So you want to start off with a pretty big piece of heat shrink tape. I'm going to go ahead, this is a half inch here, half inch heat shrink. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a bigger one on. Just in case in the end, you know, it, you can't really get too big here. Just slip them on. If they're not, if you don't use them, cut them off. All right. And uh, so you're going to need, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm going to need, but I went ahead and put a bigger one on just in case this one wasn't big enough. Then I'm going to put a couple of smaller ones on. Okay. These red ones right here. And I know it looks complicated, but um, you'll understand why I'm doing this. Now, on, on this side here, I'm just going to put this one right here. I'm not going to put the other two. I'm going to leave them on this side here. You'll understand this later, okay? So go ahead and put those on ahead of time so you don't forget to do it later. Because if you forget to do it later, you're going to have to cut everything apart and start over again. So put them on in the beginning. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to stick an extra one on just for good measure. i got a lot of them and, you know, don't want to end up with too little. All right, so we're done with the heat shrink tape. Okay, now we need to strip these wires out here. And uh, there's eight, I think seven wires in here. I'm going to go ahead and cut back, I'd say two inches on either side because there's some shielding in here that we're going to need to stretch around the new um, connections. And we want it to be long enough when we're done wiring everything back together. All right, so we're going to pull that back off there. Just to give us enough room to work with. Just be real careful, use a sharp knife and just kind of slide it along that wire without trying to cut the wire. Don't cut into the wire, just cut over it, just peel, carve it off there. All right. This is pretty delicate work. Take your time, okay. I don't want to skin those wires off. Okay. And now we'll just cut that up. Okay, now go ahead and unravel the shielding that's on here and just pull it to the back. We're going to need that to connect to the other side once the connection is done. Just twist on the wires. That shielding should start to come off. There we go. It kind of winds on there. All right, so. Now you see that we have this one wire here. I'm just gonna twist it up here to keep the individual threads from fraying all over the place. We've got the bare wire, a red wire, and a black wire, and then two shielded wires. Actually, there's actually two wires in each of these, and they, have a shielding on them too. It's a little bit difficult to get loose. Just twist on it. It'll come loose. 
and we want to peel that back as well. Okay, and you see this is yellow and brown. And hold on a second here. Get this to come off here. And this is orange and purple. Okay, so remember those color combinations. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we've got both sides. Got the shielding peeled back. Now we're just going to cut all these down about a half inch shorter. Cut them all off about a half inch shorter. Like that. Okay. Okay, so now we need to strip off about a quarter inch of the insulation off of each one of these. And my wire strippers are electrician's wire strippers, but they're not small enough. This is like phone cord cable. I don't have that type of stripper. So what I'm going to do is just kind of use the edge of my knife. It's pretty easy to do. You just want about a quarter inch. Kind of press in a little bit and pull out. And there you go. It'll come off. And I'm going to go ahead and do all of the wires that way. Just press in a little bit and pull pull back on it and pop it off. Okay, so to make this connection here, I'm going to be using these heat shrink solder butt connectors here. Um, and there's some little bitty ones in here. And you see that little bit of solder in there? That's what we're going to be using. And you're going to need a heat gun or you can use a lighter. But with these small connections like this, you really need to be careful using anything like a lighter or any kind of thing that fire because they're so delicate. But you're just going to push the wires in, making sure you see the black insulation. You just want to overlap them in there, kind of like that. Okay. I've got the other wires bent out of the way. I've got a heat gun here and uh, wait for it to heat up. And we're just going to do this right here. And go on the edges here, you'll see that it shrinks down along the wire. And there's that little piece of solder. The main thing that you want to do is watch that solder melt into the wire. You see it go right there? Good. And once that's done, we will just let it cool off. And that connection is now waterproof and soldered together perfectly. So now we'll just do all the rest of them and... Um, get ready for the next stage. Okay, so now we've got all those nice and soldered together watertight connections right there totally. So now all we're going to do is join back um, the two wires that were shielded. So we've got the purple and the orange. Get this shielding out of here. Okay. We have the brown and the yellow that were shielded together. So let's do them. So let's just go ahead and wrap this shielding around them, kind of like it was to begin with. Like so. And then we'll grab the shielding on this side as well and wrap it around. And that's why we cut all the wires off a little shorter. So there will be some chance for this to overlap and touch each other. Now I will put an additional piece of regular tinfoil across these just for double measure. Rip it off right there. And it's not going to be pretty, but it's going to just provide a little bit of extra shielding to this wire. And try to fold it up kind of like a burrito here, if I can. Got the other wires getting in the way, and I, I don't have super fine fingers, you know. As I've mentioned many times in my videos, don't got those little bitty tiny fingers some people have. 
You got big old fat fingers there. All right, so, uh, all right, now we've got that, okay. That's pretty good. It's decently shielded. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the other two, which is the purple and the orange wire. Oh, now we've got those done. Let's pinch it all together here. Pinch it all together, and we'll take this outer wrapping and wrap it all up like it came out of when we first did it. Okay. And let me go ahead and take a big piece and coat the whole thing in it. This I'd like to get as tight as possible. All right, now get that all squished down as tight as it possibly can go. All right, now we're going to take our big, our medium size one. I put a bigger one over here, but let's see if this one will go over it. Kind of pinch it together here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to put that over the middle there. Let's take our heat gun. Hit this. There we go. Oh, yeah. Watch it tighten down on there real good. You want that? All right. All right. So, got that on there. Now we're just going to slide this up over here. Got a piece of tin foil in there. Wrap that down real good. Want that to go over as far as possible. Get that up on there. We'll bring this one from over here. that up on there about a half inch okay All right, so that's creating a watertight seal. All right, there we have it. Look there, completely repaired, totally shielded, everything looks pretty good. Watertight, dust tight, airtight. You know, we shouldn't have any problems with that. So if you've accidentally cut your transducer cord or if you bought a boat with one that was already cut and spent a whole day fishing with your fish finder in demo mode, this is how you can repair your transducer cord without having to buy a whole new expensive transducer and cord uh, and spend all that money. Just need um, some heat shrink tape. You need some of these little uh, solder connectors here. Um, there, These things are pretty cheap. I'll throw links to them in the description of the video so you can find them quickly if you're, uh, you know, if you can't find them on your own. All right, you need a heat gun. And, uh, you know, you can use a lighter to do this with, but you have, with these really small connectors, uh, they're just really easy to catch on fire with a lighter. It's better if you have a heat gun. Um, but you can get away with, say, a lighter or maybe a little tiny, uh, blowtorch. Just don't get the flame right on, on the connectors. Heat tape, you know, you can do the same thing with a lighter. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Remember to share my videos on social media to help me grow the Jungle Explorer channel. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out. <laughs>